the water that feeds the streams, the rivers, the seeps that quench and nourish all life on Earth comes from the sky. It's rain. Yet for cities, the rain that falls has traditionally been considered a problem. How do we get it off the roads to stop flooding, to stop it from pooling where we don't want it? Our cities have become machines for turning rainwater into garbage. Colleges like NC State University in Raleigh are like small cities themselves. They face the same problems and have made the same mistakes. Historically, the university had done just what was expedient. Uh, we dug a hole and put our chemicals in it. We thought that was the quickest, easiest way to deal with things. We straightened out streams and we piped streams and put parking uh, lots over top of them. That in itself became a problem, turning the Rocky Branch Creek that flows through the NC State campus into a polluted, flood-prone ditch. The question was, could the university undo the damage and find a better way? to address the rain. The university spent a decade restoring the Rocky Branch Creek, replacing narrow dark culverts, returning floodplains and wetlands, and replanting with native riparian vegetation. What was once a problem became an opportunity. This is a great legacy of the Rocky Branch Project, and it really is now an asset for the university instead of uh, a, a forgotten ditch. The real legacy of Rocky Branch, however, is how the restoration of a creek transformed the university. Take, for example, this patch of real estate between two dorms, the way it looked three years ago. Where we're at is called the artist backyard. The term that we've been using is landscape is laboratory. The other disciplines have laboratories. Ours is, just happens to be outside. We feel that everyone wins uh, by doing design build. We thought we were gonna be supervised way more than we were. So my major contribution to the project included the planting plan. I facilitated the deliveries of all these plants and spaced them out myself. The new way of doing it is referred to as low impact development or LID and the strategy there is to capture every raindrop as close to where it hits the ground as possible. So here we utilize permeable pavements. The concept there is, is water can move through that pavement and get back down into uh, the groundwater supply. We also use bioinfiltration, or bioretention, commonly referred to as rain gardens. So the problem of stormwater led to a solution that embraces all the goals of the university, leaving everyone clamoring to engage the rain that falls on campus.